Hi, this is Hugo with Avid. One of the greatest features in Tor 2.0 is the ability to use third-party DJ controllers. Tor 2.0 supports a variety of controllers right out of the box, giving you the freedom to use Torque with the controller of your choice. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Torque with two popular controllers, the Numark NS7 and the Vestex VCI300. Here you can see that I already have the NS7 plugged into the computer, so the next thing to do is to install the driver for it. Open up the file and follow the instructions on the screen. Once it's done, the NS7 is ready to go. Even better, if you already have the NS7 running in your system, all you have to do is open up Torque. While Torque 2.0 launches, it will scan your system and activate any MIDI controller that is currently plugged in. And that's it, it's that simple. Now, as you can see, the NS7 is already controlling Torque. But if I want to double check or deactivate the controller, we go to the Torque Preferences page, and we click on the MIDI tab. Under MIDI Devices, I can see that the NS7 is not only listed, but it's also active. Tor 2.0 has a lot of controls that you can assign. And all of the essential ones are pre-mapped to the NS7 when you load the application. As you would expect, the NS7 can be used to control the mixer, the crossfader, the tempo of the track, and other basic functions. But you can take things even further with some really cool control assignments. For example, looking at the navigation controls here on the NS7, I can use the knob to scroll down the index within my browser. Clicking the knob will expand the index heading, revealing its content. Pressing on the file button will toggle you to the actual file list section, where you can select the song, preview it, and load to your decks. Use the load 8 and load B buttons to load the song onto the decks. Now if you're using Torque in 4 deck mode, use the half time or double time buttons to toggle the deck focus on the controller, like this. So now when I load to B, I'm actually loading the song onto deck D. The bleep feature on the NS7 works when activating a reverse effect on the deck. So I'm going to load in a reverse effect on this deck. And once the effect is present, the bleep fader here on the NS7 will activate the effect on the track. And then use the strip search to scrub to the track, like this. If you want to customize the mapping for your NS7, Torque 2.0 makes it easy. Simply open up the Preferences page. Here below, click on the Control Assignments button. This will take you to the Control Assignments page. Under the Device drop-down menu, select the Numark NS7 as the controller. And then start customizing the functions that you want the NS7 to control. Another popular DJ controller is the Vestex VCI300. Just like the NS7, Tor 2.0 will automatically recognize the controller right out of the box. And if the driver for the VCI 300 is already in your system, then we can go ahead and activate it if we need to. Again, all of the essentials are already pre-mapped to the hardware, as well as some additional ones, such as the crates button on the VCI will switch the cursor focus to the crates area within the browser. The file button will simply take you to the file heading, where you can navigate your system. The browser button will take you to the top of the database. Remember, you're now locked to this particular set of controllers. You can open up the control assignments page within Torque and customize which functions the VCI 300 is controlling. I encourage you to customize a preset that works best for you, and feel free to share it with other users on our Torque DJ forum. If you want to give Torque 2.0 a spin, Go to our website and download the free 30-day trial. Visit avid.com forward slash Tor trial. After all, when it comes to hardware, Tor 2.0 gives you more choices than ever.